Hey you guys, it's Lisa from Lisa's Hauls. How are we doing today? Today, as you can see, I'm holding a bowl full of corn, so you're probably wondering, what is she doing now? I thought I would do a little um, cooking segment, um, very simple and quick and easy, on how to make um, corn on the cob. I have ruined many batches of corn on the cob in my time, and um, <clears throat> so I just Googled it. And I found out how to make the proper corn with a little adding of my own twist to it. And I'm going to tell you how to do that in a minute. So anyways, um, so go to your local grocery store or better than that, support, excuse me, support your local farmers and go and get your corn from their little fruit stands. And, you know, it's beautiful corn right now. We had corn last night with Mike's brother and his um, wife Nicole and it was delicious so we're doing it again today just because I wanted it again because it's so great it's delicious sweet corn so um, anyways you what you want to do is we're going to get into just husking this corn um, don't be afraid of it it's not gonna you know just make sure you get all the little hairs off and don't make a big mess because Mike likes to laugh at me because he doesn't make a mess I make a mess I always make a mess Now, you'd think there was an easier way to do this, but it really isn't without making a huge mess. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Get all those little hairs off there because you don't want those caught in your teeth. Okay. So. The trick to this, doing corn, is kind of like doing eggs when you're making hard boiled eggs. you got to pay attention to the timing. Because if you cook it too long or you put too much salt in your water, it's going to turn tough. So, you get yourself a big old Dutch oven, that's what we have, and you um, get that to a rolling boil. Put in, if you've got the salt that you you know um regular salt put in four shakes of that um salt into the water okay and then you put your corn your beautiful corn that you had just chucked up like this into the salt water for 10 minutes okay and just before you get done probably around eight minutes put in two teaspoons of sugar into the water that's my little twist put a little sugar in there Go to 10 minutes, shut it off, let it sit for like, oh, I would say not more than five or six minutes, and then take it out of the water, and then you can butter it up, salt it up, whatever you like to do with garlic, pepper it up, whatever you want to do to your work corn on the cob. Now, with that being said, I think I'm going to probably let you go for right now until we get to the next step. And we're back with the corn. It's just about done. I've had it in here for ten, uh, eight minutes. And I put in two uh, teaspoons of sugar in there, in the water. And so it's going to be done here in about just a minute. And then we're going to cut it off and let it sit for a few. So anyways, um, I'm going to just check this out for a minute. That's looking beautiful. Frying some potatoes and getting them all ready for dinner and all that good stuff. Anyways, and um, let's see what else we're going to do. Oh, wait a minute. My hubs is just so silly. It's not funny. I just forgot a stuff. Here, I told you what I was going to do and I forgot to do it myself. Ha ha. I didn't put the sugar in the water yet. So there's the sugar. We're going to throw it in the water. Just like that. We're going to stir it up. Telling you what, folks, I think Lisa's starting to lose it. Don't tell anybody, though. We don't want her to know yet. <laughs> so, cut the heat off, and we're just going to let that sit. And we're going to do the rest of this, and dinner will be served, and we're going to come back in just a little bit and have our corn on the cob. Hey, you guys, we're back, and we got dinner done. Corn on the cob is done. Pork chops, marinating Italian dressing done, and the fried potatoes, which we had to fight with, are done too. So I'm going to slather this up with some butter. Okay. 
get that all going here real good like I love this little tool from the pampered chef it just works fabulously anyway so this is how we do our corn on the cob we just get her going here like so like so like so and then that's all we do to it and there you go that's corn on the cob and so I am going to eat my dinner, and Mike's going to eat his dinner, and then tomorrow I'm going to have a little surprise with the leftover corn. So stay tuned. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a good evening, and thanks for hanging out with us. Mwah.